Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look to see if your PC can run Windows 11. There's a bit of confusion around it at the moment. This is only early days, and I think I can probably point you in the right direction to see whether your PC will work or not. Now, the first thing you can do is use this PC Health uh, Check app from Microsoft. And you install this, and it checks your machine, looks at the specs, and tells you whether you can run uh, Windows 11. So on a Surface Laptop 2, I can run this check, and as you can see, everything's good to go. Now this is a screenshot from my Surface Go, which says it can't run Windows 11. Uh, and I don't know why why this is the case. Now there's a lot of minimum requirements for Windows 11. Most of the requirements are actually the same as Windows 10, but there are a couple of key differences and something that's not clear from this app and Microsoft need to do some work on this app is there's something they called a hard floor and a soft floor. So what, what does this mean? Well, so if your machine can run Windows 11, it'll let you install it. If it can't run Windows 11 and it meets one or two thresholds, the soft floor or the hard floor, and I've got and I've got a page with this on here from Microsoft. They've got a hard floor and a soft floor. So if you meet all the requirements of the hard floor and the soft floor, you can install Windows 11, no issues at all. If you don't re reach the requirements of the soft floor, then you can still install Windows 11, but you get a warning about compatibility. If you don't reach the minimum requirements of the hard floor, then it won't install. Um, so they so there's are the two uh, levels of support. So in the case of my Surface laptop, it meets the all these requirements and install. In the case of my Surface Go, it doesn't meet the CPU generation, which eighth gen uh, Intel CPUs. There's a whole list of uh, which Microsoft have got on their website. Uh, the CPU generation thing. So the Surface Go. I checked on the list, isn't on the list of uh, the C supported CPUs, so it doesn't meet that soft floor. Um, so, therefore, it will install, and it tells you here. So, devices, uh, so if it meets doesn't meet the soft floor I, and um, I install it, it will let me do it, but it will give me a warning. So there's the so there's the split really. So that's why a lot of people are reporting that the PC checker is showing them that uh, it can't run Windows 11, and that's really because this application is doing the whole of the requirements. So what Microsoft really need to do is to change this application so that if you do the check now, it does it checks the soft floor and hard floor. So in the case of my Surface Go, it would say your PC doesn't run the minimum requirements but will, will, will install and then of course if it doesn't meet the minimum requirements of the half floor it would say you can't install Windows 11 on this device so this this app definitely needs updating and I'm sure they'll, they'll do that it's early days yet so hopefully that clears up the confusion I'll have an article to go with this uh, as well so the thing to check is these two half floor soft floor if you meet the Hard floor, not the soft floor, you can still install Windows 11. So I hope that clears it up. Uh, you can find out more on the digitallife.com and we'll have some hands on with Windows 11 soon.